Good morning, it's me, Robin, and I'm coming to you from my not quite Pinterest ready kitchen to show you a, a few recipes uh, in a series from my uh, Super Meal Ideas for Tight Budgets. It's an ebook that I put together, and obviously, you can print it. Uh, feeding yourself and your family for less than $10 a day. And before we go too much further, the prices were taken from October the 1st, 2022. And in the back or uh, on page 26 of the ebook, it shows you a little comparison of the prices as of that time between um, uh, store brand soups, which we'll be using, and, uh, and name brand soups, which we may have to use because in some cases I didn't, couldn't find a store brand equivalent. <laughs> on October 1st, 2022, a dozen eggs at the local box store were $1.34 large eggs. So that'll that'll show you a little bit of the price changes. But the idea here between for these uh for the menu, uh the recipes that are in this book are for those that are really, really struggling. Um this is not an everyday meal plan. This is really designed to get you through a couple of weeks when things are just really, really tight. So it's uh, at the time it was put together, it was less than $10 a day. It's a family of four, four um, serving size consistent with what's on the cans. So you may have a can that says uh, serving is about two and a half servings per container. So you have to look at that as well. You know, some people have bigger appetites than others, so it may not be exactly the same. But today we're going to look at one of the fastest and easiest ones to do. They're not, none of them's really difficult. Don't, don't get uh, too worried about that. But um, this is just, it's, I've, ca I've, I've called it Super Scramble, S-O-U-P-E-R, always playing off the word soup. And it's a very, very simple recipe. And all you're going to need is some cheese soup. And what I have is a Fiesta cheddar cheese soup. And that's all they had in the cheese soup range at my box store. And it is a name brand. Um, you could also use uh, cream of celery, cream of chicken, or cream of mushroom soup, depending on your tastes. Um, you'll need, for a family of four, eight eggs, assuming two eggs a piece. And those would be, you know, regular large eggs. Uh, some pepper to taste and some butter. That's all there is. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. I'm only going to mix up enough for one person. I'm not going to do a, a full family sized uh, plate here because there's just Wayne and I in the household and he's not here right now. So <laughs> it would just be me finishing this off. So it, I am, I am pairing what I'm showing you back, but this is for actually the recipes. All the recipes are intended for families of four. So if you join me down here at the stovetop, we'll get started. Okay, I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to <laughs> set this up where you can see my face. But uh, in order for you to see my stovetop, and, and honestly, I treat my stovetop like I do a countertop. And, oh, it's just a lazy habit of mine. But I'm going to warm my skillet. Now I'm using a cast iron skillet. You don't have to use a cast iron skillet. I've got stainless steel skillets. Any skillets you've got. But you do want to warm it up, and you don't want it really, really hot. You, so we're going to um, turn it up just a smidge and let that start getting warm. And I've got a tablespoon of butter. Like I said, remember, I'm just doing this for uh, one plate. The recipe is for four. Serving a four. I'm going to let this melt in my skillet. And this is really, really one of the most simple ways to stretch your breakfast budget and your breakfast foods out a little bit. Now, at the time I put this together, and we'll flip back here again and look at this price. Um, I'm 
please soup the can of soup was uh $2.58. So the other things are, uh, you figure your eggs are about 20 cents. There's probably, there's about 20 cents worth of eggs there. Um, in, a, in a full, a full recipe, you're going to have about 80 cents in eggs. You're going to have about uh, two dollars and uh, uh, fifty cents of uh, soup, and you know about a dime's worth of butter. Salt and pepper to taste, and that's minimal. Then you'll have uh, bread. You know, a couple slices of bread. So that won't that won't be a whole lot. That'll per person. Even if you gave, even if it was one, you're not talking more than a dime. So you've got maybe three dollars, three and a half dollars for the most invested in this meal. If you're making it for four, remember I'm only making it for one. So I'm going to put this soup. I, I measured out enough soup to make for one in here, but you're going to mix the soup and the eggs. So you could use duck eggs, you could use quail eggs. I raise my own chickens, so my eggs are, I'm not buying eggs, but I did check the price on them. And this is really all you're doing. You're adding the cheese, and in this case, the cheese is a nacho cheese, so it has some peppers and stuff. So it already it has a little extra flavor. To the eggs, where's my temperature on that? Where's my spatula? And you're just scrambling them. I mean, it's really, really a very, very simple dish. And if you're fixing it for more than one, you know, you may even be able to get enough for five. It just depends on how many eggs your family eats. If your family... If they only usually eat one egg a piece when you're scrambling eggs, then of course it's going to not be as much. But this is all you're doing. You're just scrambling your eggs. Now pour it in down. That's it. You want to make sure the eggs are done. You don't want to burn the cheese soup that's in there. Can you see? Normally you wouldn't tip your skillet up this way either, but... I want you to be able to see, and I can't move that camera all the time. <clears throat> and you see, even with two eggs, this is quite a bit. This is quite a bit. I would probably say so it was two eggs and actually uh, just a couple tablespoons of soup because I'm only making one serving. over a little bit. Now for serving it, you want to make it a little fancy. You can cut your bread, your toast on the diagonal. Excuse my breadcrumbs that are going to be on this plate. Plate it up. And there it is. It's a scrambled egg enhanced with a uh, this happens to be a Fiesta cheese so uh, soup, but any cheese soup would do. If you can find one with bacon in it, that would be awesome. Um, so this actually says there's about two and a half servings per container, uh, about 90 calories per serving. So we didn't even use a uh, quarter of that. So 
there's um, what well, we've uh, there's about 20 calories or so in the soup that we use. The calories in the eggs are not that much. The toast, you, I mean, is really it's not a um, very uh, calorie heavy meal, even though you would think it is. You're not adding any any milk or anything to the soup to thin it down. And there you have it. Add your add your favorite uh, breakfast meat. Less than three dollars for your breakfast or for your family for the entire thing. So <laughs> So there it is. Super scrambled eggs. <laughs>